Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about navigation options in SketchUp for Web. So, if you're like me, uh, regardless if I'm using SketchUp on uh, SketchUp for Web or SketchUp for Desktop, I generally use my mouse. Like. 99 out of 100 times I use my mouse. But there are situations where I'm on my iPad, maybe I'm traveling, sitting on the couch, whatever, where maybe I don't want to mess with the mouse and I just want to, you know, work in a model without it. Um, I do occasionally use a trackpad. Some people out there like trackpads best. So there's, a, you know, we're all over the place with that. There are some settings specifically in SketchUp for web for trackpad users. And it's important to know, even if you're a mouse user, if you always use a mouse, it's important to know about these settings because if they're turned on, they can play with how your mouse is working. If you are a trackpad user, it gives you more power in how you use the trackpad when you navigate inside of a model. Let's take a look at how these work right now. All right, so I am here, I got my mouse, I'm using my mouse, and if I see, move, move my cursor, if I move my mouse around, if I hold down the wheel, I drag and I orbit as expected. This is what I would expect. Uh, again, as if I wanted to zoom in here, I would just come over here, roll my wheel up, and then, whoa, it is doing something weird. It's not doing what I expect. Huh, that's unexpected. Maybe I should make a video about why that's happening. Welcome to this video. So the issue here is that there is a setting. I'm gonna come over here to the overflow menu, the little three bars, the hamburger, pancake, whatever you wanna call it. And then I'm gonna click on app settings. In app settings, I'm gonna go to the third tab, which is navigation. And right here, it says tell SketchUp for Web what device you're using. Are you using a trackpad or a mouse? So I was using a mouse, but it was expecting trackpad input. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take my mouse out of the screen. Therefore, now I can only use trackpad because that's how it works. If trackpad's turned on, now it's gonna ask me two finger swipe is map two, and I have options here of orbit, pan, or zoom. I'm gonna keep it on orbit because most likely I'm gonna orbit more than anything else. But I do have the option, it tells me below if I hit shift swipe, it'll pan, control swipe will zoom. And obviously if I switch this to zoom, now it's shift swipe is orbit, control swipe is pan. So I have three zoom options using a two finger swipe based on modifier keys. The bigger thing though, relative to what I was just showing, is that when I put in with trackpad, it's not, it's, it's going to focus my input, look for input from the trackpad and not the mouse. So when I come out of here, I'm gonna close. Now if I use just my trackpad and obviously move around my cursor, if I put two fingers down and move around, I'm gonna be orbiting as expected. And then if I use my, my modifier keys, control, and I two finger swipe, I'm zooming in and out, shift swipe, and I'm gonna be panning. Okay, so that's the way I would expect it. I also have the ability to pinch. So if I pinch in or out, uh, I can zoom that way. And that's based on the cursor location. So if I move my cursor over here and start zooming in, it's gonna zoom in back there, as opposed to if I was to zoom in up here, that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, I have the pinch uh, if I have trackpad set up too shift and pan this back where I want it, zoom out. So this is nice. This is nice that it's set up uh, just kind of advanced navigation options with the trackpad if trackpad's turned on. However, if I bring my mouse back on the screen now, I'm using my mouse, I can come up here, click app settings, change navigation to mouse. This two finger swipe disappears. And now uh, I can orbit by clicking the mouse button or I can zoom by rolling the wheel and then shift click, middle is to pan. So it basically behaves just the same way as a mouse would with desktop or normally. Um, this is just a limitation we had to deal with, you know, how, how functions are mapped through the operating system. We're limited what we could do, but this gives us control and we actually tell it what we want to do when different functions happen. The, like I said, the nice thing is that having that ability to come in and say, I want all my control here, and then by doing that, I get those extra navigation options. Uh, but more likely than not, what I've seen is, why, why is Zoom being weird? Why can't I Zoom all of a sudden? If you ever run into that, do come over here, check your navigation options, because it's probably something turned on. The, the input navigation option you are using is not what SketchUp for Web is probably expecting. 
All right, so that was a quick one. That was short, that was not uh, not super long, but I wanted to bring it up for two reasons. One is I saw this come up on our forum, forums.sketchup.com. If you don't spend time there, it's a great spot to get your SketchUp questions answered. And two, because I ran into it. I grabbed my mouse and I could not zoom and it was driving me crazy. And then I realized there's this checkbox, or well, I'm just in the wrong direction, that checkbox we looked at. Um, so if you use SketchUp, for web and you've run into those problems, just check, keep an eye on that. And again, if you switch back and forth like I do, it's just a matter of swapping that little check, that, that little little drop menu, uh, go ahead and do that. But uh, yeah, if you ran into that, sorry, that's why. Uh, if you like that video, go click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, leave us a comment down below. Have you run into this issue specifically? Have you ever done that? Uh, if so, let me know because this video was for you. Uh, or do you have other ideas? Do you have ideas of what you think would make good videos, workflows, tools to, to highlight, extensions? Uh, let us know about that in the comments too. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something that you want to see. Thanks.